Yeah, if Russell ain't had that bread, she ain't gonna be with him. <laughs> Russell Square. Yeah, Russell, Russell Square. Square. Russell Square. Sierra, Sierra had a she she has a good situation, but she was you don't a, leave future they, she and a, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I think though, that's what you don't wrong, leave though. future and get with Russell Women Wilson. Like, it's, a, it's a type. Listen, Women bro, everybody got a type. Yeah, that's true. Everybody has a type. You're going to leave Future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you He's have, so goddamn square, and I love him on the field. He's this. a square. Channing, He's a fucking square. Channing, you go from this level of toxicity, you just want something stable. You want the guy that was sitting with that girl with that big old mouth at the draft that was laughing, and you knew she deserved <laughs> to be with him. Goofball? Yeah, you want that you guy. You want to get with you, goofballs. No, you want to know the line that in your mind that made you made you bag sierra what was the line that got her to go out on a date with you mm. well uh, first uh, first of all shit you know i had this Come wallet on now, i had this wallet there. i had this wallet and it was it was broke it was broke down it was like kind of tore up yep, you know, yep, I, had, yep. I had it for a while i was single at the time you know, i was running around single and i had i had this wallet it was tore up so i could you know first day we met and we had been talking for two and a half hours you know hanging out whatever and, and she saw the uh, wallet sit on the table she said what the hell is that <laughs> she said, what the hell is that? I said, what? What are you talking about? She said, that wallet. What, 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 you losing with that. I said, I put my finger. I said, first of all, with me, you never lose. Ooh, ooh. I said, second of all, second of all, I said, that's what, I said that, that wallet, that shows consistency. Mm, shows huh. consistency. That's what you're going to get from me. Wow. You're going to somebody going to be yeah. consistent for you every day. Mm -hmm. See, that's what and I'm so, uh, Even when your shit yeah, old and broke down. That's get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to me. Toasters, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Yes, the like button is free. Go ahead and hit it. Now, Channing Crowder is one of the hosts of three hosts on the show, The Pivot YouTube channel, The Pivot. And uh, Fred Taylor is on that show. Ryan Clark is on this show. All three of these guys are former NFL players. Uh, I would say the only one who is Hall of Fame worthy, although he's not in the Hall of Fame, is Fred Taylor. Uh, Ryan Clark uh, does have a Super Bowl or two. Uh, he was a decent player. Uh, Channing was a was a decent player too, I would say, uh, but he didn't have uh, the acclaim of, of Fred and Ryan uh, in the NFL. But he was a decent player. Uh, I think he spent most of his time with the Miami Dolphins. Now, if you ever checked out this show, these guys' personalities are, are totally different, but they mesh well. They mesh very well. Channing is more of the, I guess, the class clown. Always got a joke, never too serious. Every now and then, every now and again, he'll, he'll throw you a nugget of wisdom. But most of the time, he, he's clowning uh, a lot of uh, tongue in cheek, a lot of sarcasm. You know that that type of guy, uh, which is nothing wrong with that if if that's your personality. Fred is the the man of reason. Yes, he he's the uh, he's a sensei, right? He's the Yoda. He, he's the wise man, and he's always going to be stable, uh, sober-minded, and, and uh, just a clear thinker. And he's uh, he's going to always bring that wisdom. Ryan Clark, professional, you know the 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 ultimate uh, professional, the prototypical professional guy. Uh, some may call him a company man. So uh, he, he really doesn't uh, uh, have any flair to him. Uh, but, you know, he, he's a guy you can relate to, I, I would say. Uh, but, you know, he, uh, you know he, he, he's, not, he's not really dynamic. Professional guy, uh, plays it by the rules, uh, doesn't curse at all, uh, at least not on TV. And, and so, uh, you know, just straight lace. Nothing wrong with that either. Uh, but so these guys are totally different as far as personality wise, but it meshes well. And uh, I love the channel. I love the channel. Now, the guy who's doing most of the talking in that clip is Channing Crowder. Now, there's a lot I disagree with what he said. Uh, but there is one thing I do this uh, do agree with, and that is women do have a type. They do have a type. Now, do they have to be stuck with that type? Do they have to live and die with that type? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Uh, I think you have a renewal of the mind, a renewal of the womb, and, uh, you know, you can go away from that. But, you know, I was talking about this with, with Yaya at one time, not even uh, in regards to this this topic or these people in play, but this topic. And I asked, does a woman ever stop uh, craving or having that attachment to her type, to her initial type? And she said it may die down a bit, but something's always there with that type. And so, uh, you know, that's interesting. That's interesting. But I would say this. Uh, what we may think a person is, he may not be that. You know, Channing is saying uh, or alluding to that uh, Russell Wilson isn't Sierra's type. The future is her type. And she is only with Russell because of the money. Now, I think that take is coming from a place of ignorance. And I say ignorance because it's coming from a place of not knowing. This man, uh, from my understanding, doesn't know, personally doesn't know uh, Russell Wilson. He knows him just as we know him. Maybe a little bit more because, you know, he, he rubs shoulders with other professional athletes. So maybe he's heard a little bit more. But his take on Russell is not far from, you know, our take of what we see. Uh, that's one thing. So he actually doesn't know if Russell Wilson is more future than future actually is. And he doesn't know if future is more than this uh, perceived ideal of what Russell Wilson is than Russell Wilson is. He, he doesn't know this. And he doesn't know Sierra. So this is all speculation. This is all things he's projecting. Uh, that's within himself that he's projecting outward uh, unto them and, and to the public. But he really doesn't know these people. And he's making an assessment, a judgment on uh, or from a lack of knowledge. And that's why I say it's ignorant. It's very ignorant uh, because he's assuming he knows these people. He's assuming he knows their personality, which he really doesn't. He only knows what he wants to see or what they project, what they show, but he really doesn't know them. Uh, so so that that's what, uh, you know, I, I disagree with on that. But I do agree that a woman has a type. I do agree that she can uh, have a renewal of the mind. But, you know, she never, that, that type, it's always going to be a small attachment, I do believe. Uh, can you have both? Can you have a renewal of the mind? Can you have? Can a woman find a man that becomes her type? There is her type because of the renewal of the mind, but he also has that edge that also uh, that also forms that link, that tie to that old type. I think so. I think so. I, I think a man could be responsible. I think a man could be a gentleman respectable, uh, considerate, a gentleman, um, you know, consistent, reliable, and also have an edge. I do believe that. I think you can, I think a woman can find both. I, I do. Uh, I think a man can find, you know, a mix of something, a hybrid of, of what, what he needs, but we're talking about women right now. Now, Channing Crowder was very disrespectful, though. Very disrespectful. And sometimes I sit back and, and I just listen to guys and what they say about other men. And I'm like, man, this 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 social media, this internet thing, this virtual world is wild. Where a man can be totally disrespectful and really not have to answer uh, to to his offenses you know, to his transgressions. He doesn't have to answer to him. Uh, he called Russell Wilson a goofball. You know, basically a lame, a square. And the thing is with that, he wouldn't say that to that man's face. He wouldn't. 
And this is why I can't respect it. It's very disrespectful. And he wouldn't say it to his face because, not because he, he's scared of Russell or he's scared of uh, having, uh, you know, going to fist the cuffs or having an altercation with Russell. No, that's not the reason. He wouldn't say it because it's just not kosher. It, it breaks man code. That's just not how men, men operate. And I'm not talking, I'm talking like any kind of man, whether you want to call him a gentleman or a gangster or a thug or a lame or a nerd, businessman, homeless men, whatever. There's a certain etiquette. There's a certain code all men know you live by. And 99.9% of men do not go around disrespecting other men. It's not because they're scared. It just because it violates a code and it's just not manly and most men do not want a physical altercation again not because they're scared it's just it's just not the thing to do if we don't have to do it you know so he's saying something on television on the internet that he wouldn't say in this man's face and that's where I that's where I draw the line I can't respect it I can't respect it uh that's not cool. Uh, it's not manly. And uh, he's totally in violation. He's totally in violation. Now, the other reason he's in violation because he's putting Sierra on the pedestal. He's assuming, uh, he's assuming she's a quality woman. I don't know if she is or not. Uh, but he's definitely put putting her on the pedestal. Uh, He's definitely uh, pegging Russell as a simp, which he doesn't know the man. He doesn't know the man. And and so he's in total violation. And you hear Ryan Clark chiming in. He's in violation too. But like I said, the man of reason, the wise man, the sensei, Fred Taylor, the reliable one. And that's how he plays the game at running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was reliable. He was a workhorse. Never celebrated. I don't think I've ever seen the guy celebrate. And uh, he just came with his hard hat and did his work. And that's Fred Taylor, man. Um, he was the man of reason. He said, women want peace. And what he's basically saying is, women want stability. And that's not saying that women naturally are peaceful or naturally are stable I, I think just opposite i think women got a lot going on a lot of ebbs and flows and and they want a man who is orderly who is stable who is consistent because that's what they need to to anchor them down but the average woman i wouldn't say the average the majority of women are not uh physically stable mentally stable emotionally stable it's not until they get with a consistent man, a reliable man, that they start to anchor down. That, that, that brings them peace. That brings them peace. You know, a woman brings life to a man's life. She brings color to his life. She brings inspiration to his life. Right? She could be his muse. But he gives her consistency and stability. And so we need each other. And so, uh, Fred is right on that. Fred is right. Now, I don't know if Future didn't bring that. We don't know that. You know, we got to stop, you know, <laughs> just believing what the internet sells us. You know, I read somewhere that Future doesn't even do drugs. But he, he, he raps about it. Now, that's irresponsible because he's selling something to the kids. You know, that's, that's detrimental. You know, uh, that can bring death and harm and darkness. He's selling that, but he doesn't even do it himself. You know, so, you know, you may think you know someone that, man, you, you spent numerous hours around, a number of years around, and you really don't even know them. So how can we make an assessment about someone from the television, from the media? You know, that's just ignorant. It's foolish. You know, so... Guys like Channing, you know, um, 
and maybe he just had a bad moment, but we're going to take him at this moment. Those those type of guys that have these moments or just like this period, man, you got to be aware of. Uh, you need to stay clear of. Uh, you single guys, <laughs> be, 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 be aware that these guys do exist. You know, these guys who put women on pedestals, these guys that say, uh, a certain type of woman will only get with a certain type of man because of money. You know, these guys' self-esteem is not where it needs to be. Their self-confidence is not where it needs to be. And so what they'll do, man, they'll do something that, man, we call dirty macking. They'll go behind your back. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll try to buy your woman a drink when you go to the restroom. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to say something to her when you go to the restroom because they perceive you a certain way and they think money can buy her. Uh, they'll hate on you. Yeah, you got to be you gotta be careful around these guys, man. They are not trustworthy. Um, and then, you, you know, typically these guys end up getting knocked out because they're violators. They're habitual violators and they end up getting knocked out because they don't have the self-confidence and the self-esteem they need, and they put, they have put a woman on a pedestal, and they will do anything. They will sell their soul to be attached to that woman because they're put her at a value <laughs> that they shouldn't have. Yeah, these, these guys are reckless. So you got to be careful with these guys. Uh, yeah, but, I, you know, I, I totally disagree with the disrespect. And, and Russell really needs to uh, nip that in the bud. He shouldn't do it the way Will Smith did it, uh, but he should do that in private. Oh, there's a way for Russell to get in, get in uh, physical contact and get up, up and close to Channing. He needs to do that because this is becoming a narrative around Russell. You know, there's other people who have said this too. And you just need to nip it in the bud. And it only takes him one time to do it. He don't have to do it publicly. What he should do, because uh, he has the contacts, the reach, the connections, the money to make it happen. He, he should come on set and no cameras on and, and ask Channing, let's go to the back and have a discussion. And they need to come to an understanding. And whatever happens, happens. But they need to come to an understanding. And then he needs to have his PR, uh, his public relations person, leak the whole thing. Verbally, yeah, leak it, leak it through print, not through video though. Leak it through print uh, about what happened. That he addressed Shannon in the back. Yeah, Shannon wasn't the problem. What do you want to do? Leave my name out your mouth. Stop talking down on me. Shannon said he would, and he apologized. Yeah, leak that, leak it, and I guarantee you everything will stop in regards to that. Yeah, that'll stop. It'll stop uh, defaming his character. I guarantee it. Uh, but yeah, don't don't do it publicly because he's gonna look like the crazy man, and yeah, it won't turn out well. He's gonna look like he snapped, like the crazy man. Uh, he doesn't have emotional intelligence. That whole narrative is gonna shift and make him look even worse. And so, uh, yeah, that's how we handle that. Now, the video with uh, Russell stating that uh, how. You know, he uh, he connected with Sierra. Now, this is interesting because uh, he said, you know, they were FaceTiming. She saw his wallet, which was worn down, old, and uh, she was trying to clown him on his wallet. Now, this is a man who has, who has self-awareness, has uh, self-confidence. Lack of a better phrase, he checked her. He checked her immediately. And he said, this is consistency. This is stability. I don't have to go out and get the newest thing, the flyest thing. I'm good with what works. Consistency. My value is not the wallet. My value is not even what's in the wallet. My value it's within me, and that is projected outward. It's not on me. 
is in me. Enough said. You see that, man? Two totally different mindsets between Channing and Russell Wilson. Two totally different mindsets. Channing putting her on a pedestal. Thinks money can only get that type of woman. Right? And Russell's like, man, it's in me. It ain't on me. And Russell is, is, is worth millions on top of millions. But this is a brother who's, who's self-assured who has a, a stable foundation, knows who he is. You know, I respect it. That's a lesson for us all, Toasters. Know who you are. Know who you are, man. Uh, you can get anything you want. You can you can attract any woman you want if it's in you. It can't be on you. It has to be in you. Because when these things outside of you fade or you lose them, what then? Who are you then? Something to think about. As always, from me to you, love, peace. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.